Hey, everyone. Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients. But, hey, it kills the cockroaches, too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I... Right! The power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short circ. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. The real tragedy, though? I can't stomach a cold burrito. 120 million eddies? Huh, damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. You got some cojones, B.
Hello, V. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Read the opening line. You know. <laughs> what are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Well, hello there. Once you have have both, you come to make yourself you useful? I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them, as code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, I prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more. He didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You thinking she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? Does <laughs> something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up. 
and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge <laughs> junctions yes those when you see them from above you can... free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Not here. Nada.
Well, well, well. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader. Here goes nothing. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. That's all. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. talk about the war much what's there to say they just packed you into a panzer down in mexico and said full speed ahead soldier then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard ai drinking iodide like water because your geiger wouldn't shut up mm-hmm i'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin uh-huh but you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Did you just doze off? You couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, B.
Ah, shit. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. 
Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine work and order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. It happened from the start. We'll see. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Jess, what's up? I want to see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. Relax. Eat, drink, and be merry. Fire and might.
What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Got time for a quick one. Chance you'll do the trick. Everyone listen up! This is a fucking robbery! Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up! Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are! And don't fucking move a muscle! If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead! We clear? Wallets on the table! Keep your Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You're giving me mixed signals here. How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is going to get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people like you. Wallet with Eddie's. Nah. Dead asshole. In all the years I've been running this place, nothing like they're all dead. Was it worth it just to save a couple of eddies? Get out! Get out already! were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge 
from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's survived... to fend off the attack without suffering additional losses. Are you bored? Go to the bar if you feel chatty. Just in time. What do you want? 